Door-to-door -door energy salespeople are out in full force as we start to head into the cooler months. They're trying to get you to switch from National Grid or NYSEG, but what one group of saleswomen did in Gloversville landed them in cuffs. Jennifer Lukey has the real deal tonight. Nicole and her daughter Olivia were at home on Tuesday when there was a knock on the door. She didn't say, here's my tag, I'm so-and-so from this place. All she said was, I need to see your NIMO bill. Nicole refused and sent her on her way, but then got a bit nervous. That I was just concerned about people asking for personal information. So she called Gloversville police. The officer who responded quickly realized these saleswomen who work for Spark Energy not only didn't have the required peddler's permit to be going door to door, but they were getting downright aggressive with homeowners who didn't want to hear their pitch. We require each individual that's going to be taking part in their operation to um, submit to a background check. And that never happened, so the two saleswomen were ticketed and told to leave the city. The story doesn't end there. These two saleswomen didn't leave this area when police did. They stayed and had a confrontation with the person who called the police on them. And she took her binder and reached out and slapped my mother-in-law with it. She was arrested. And this time charged with harassment. Here's the real deal. Any energy salesperson that shows up at your door must show you a photo ID with the name of their company on it. And they have to provide you with paperwork that outlines their rates. If they get aggressive or intimidating, ask them to leave right away. And even if they do have a permit to be selling in your city or town, they still have to play by the rules. They have an obligation to treat the people that they're soliciting to um, with respect, um, not to harass them, not to try to use um, any tactics to intimidate them or anything like that to try to get them to, to coerce them into getting their uh, buying their product. And if you feel like that obligation isn't being met, take a page out of Nicole's book and call police. In Gloversville, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News. Now, Spark Energy is licensed to sell natural gas and electricity in New York with the Public Service Commission, but they are required to follow all the local laws, which apparently did not happen in this case. We tried several times to reach the company today for comment. Our calls and emails were unreturned.